Hello and welcome to a little technical video from RC Empire. In this video, we are going to be taking this awesome little 124 scale micro short course truck and converting the female Molex two pin battery connector off the truck into a female JST connector. Now the reason for this is that the original Horizon Hobby Accelerin 7.4 volt 250 mAh LiPo that came with the brushless set for this car has expanded and isn't packing as much punch as it used to. And this little LiPo here from Horizon Hobby will cost you $40, which is expensive, like a lot of other new parts for older models from Horizon. I think you can get the newer version of this battery for around $15, but it is still a lot. So instead, we are going to be using these Turnigy Nanotech 2S 300mAh LiPos. Now I've been using these for a long time and have had a great experience with them. They have a higher mAh and they only cost $4.50 each or around £3.30 and of course they come with a JST type connector. So instead of changing the connectors on all five brand new batteries we're going to change the connectors on the car. So let's get started. As you can see inside the battery tray we have an NIMH battery that came with the car and this also has the Molex connector. And this in here is the female Molex two pin connector that we're going to be changing. And as you can just about see on the bottom of that, the red and black wires from the car, which go to the red and black wires on the current LiPo battery. Now the first step to changing this plug is to remove the old connector. It's worth noting now that you really want to make sure not to damage or break off any of the wire already on the car because there really isn't a lot of it to play with and if it does break it will be a real pain to repair or solder an extra bit on. And you can see what these little tabs here are and they just keep the terminals in place into the plastic connector. And quickly these are just the new JST female connectors that will be fitting to the car. So to remove this carefully, you want to get a small screwdriver or needle point and push in these two little tabs. Just push in these little tabs and the old connector should just pull off like that. Now note how these terminals are connected because we will be installing the new ones in the exact same way. So the bottom part of the terminal is crimped around the plastic insulation of the wire and the upper part is clamped around the actual metal wires. Now the next step is to carefully remove these old terminals without breaking the wire. So using either a needle nose plier or a small screwdriver or a small set of pliers you will be able to pull these old terminals off carefully without breaking the wire. Quickly. I initially thought that we might be able to keep these old terminals, but if you look at the new ones we're going to be using with the JST connectors, the new ones are much longer, and the old ones that we have now would not be able to reach the terminals on the male JST connectors on the batteries we are going to be using. So the old ones have to go, which I've done off camera because it's difficult to work around the camera and it is a really fiddly job. On this car, it is not easy, especially with the limited amount of space you have to work in, in the battery tray, and the limited amount of wire you have on this car. But it is possible and it helps to have good tools. So these terminals can just be pulled off the little tree here by hand. Give them a little wiggle carefully and they will come off. And as you can see close up, they are made up of a few sections as mentioned earlier. The bottom clamp here will hug around the plastic insulator of the wire and the upper part here will clamp onto the actual metal wire. Okay, so I've already placed a terminal on the red wire, as you can see, and now we'll do the black one. Just to try and show you how we attach these on, I've held the terminal in place with my right hand, and with these precision tweezers, I've just clamped down the bottom part of the terminal onto the plastic insulation, just slightly for now, so that it stays in place. And then with some needle nose pliers or something a little bit more heavy duty, you can tighten down the clamps on both parts of the terminal onto the wire and the insulation and secure the metal terminals in place. And as you can see now, that is solid. You can almost pick up the whole car from the terminal and that is what you want. You don't want these terminals popping out or coming off mid run because they are a real pain to put on. And note there is also good contact between the terminal and the wire so everything should work when we go to connect the battery. And finally, what you need to do now is squeeze the terminals into the plug casing. 
Now make sure when you're doing this that you note the direction and polarity of the wires. This JST plug is one way, so make sure, as with any batteries and wires, you get the polarities correct. And again, use your tweezers to push the terminals up into the casing and it should clip into place with those little tabs on the side. Also, make sure the little tabs go into the plastic plug in the right way because there's a little bit inside the plastic plug where the tabs hook onto and lock into place. And that is it. Now you probably can get some special crimping pliers to attach these terminals to the wires, but access is limited and you may end up having to do it the exact same way we've had to do it here. As you can see, we can now plug in our new battery straight into the car. we have plenty of power. The way I like to put these batteries into the battery tray is to lie them flat, put the JST connector up against the inner wall and you can push the rest of the wires around the gaps. And actually you can fit these in a lot better than I just did and a lot more easy but you just need to get used to it and find a way that works for you. And that is it. I hope this video has given you some idea of how to convert these connectors and what to look out for and shown you it can be done and also what batteries you can use as replacements for this short course truck. If there's anything I've missed out or if you have any questions, drop us a message down below or email us and please rate and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.